So to well grasp the concept um, um, of chemical nature of hormones, we have talked about the peptides or protein hormones, and now let's talk about the contrast, the steroid hormones. So again, as I said, the steroid hormone are made by the adrenal cortex, the ovaries, the testes, and the placenta. So you do have reproductive organs, and you have the adrenal cortex. So, steroid hormones are synthesized from cholesterol. Cholesterol is a key because they are synthesized from cholesterol. They are lipid in nature. This is one point to note. That's the reason we have to mention cholesterol. And cholesterol esters, which are somehow precursors of cholesterol, are very important because sometimes when you need a lot of steroid hormones, cholesterol esters can actually be rapidly mobilized for steroid hormone synthesis. This is another point that you need to note. But cholesterol, lipid solubility, very important. So steroid hormones are not stored. Here comes a point. Peptide hormone can be stored. Steroid hormones cannot be stored. Simply, they are lipid soluble. Because they are lipid soluble, you don't expect them uh, these hormones to be confined into a membrane-bound secretory vesicles because they will escape. They're lipid soluble, so they can actually pass through the uh, plasma membrane. So the secretory vesicles have plasma membrane, so they will easily escape. So these hormones cannot be stored because they are lipid soluble. So this is the reason: high lipid soluble. So high lipid solubility make it impossible for steroid hormones to be stored. So the nature, very important to tell a lot of things. So um, 